predator wins flawless victory fatality get over here Hey guys, you're here with Paddy of the Watch Gamers. You're very welcome to a new edition that I like to call Cheap Ass Tuesdays. So what is Cheap Ass Tuesdays? I'm here to tell you. So guys, I don't know about G, but I can't afford to pay 150 euro for new games every month. So usually I pick the best of the bunch. And I'm as Irish as a pint of Guinness, so I love a good old deal. So in this segment every Tuesday I'm going to scour the net I'm going to find the best deals for you. So this month we've been very, very lucky. PlayStation Store have had their Easter sale with some great titles. We've had the likes of Metal Gear, The Witcher 3, and we've had this great new title here, which is Mortal Kombat X. So Mortal Kombat X is going for $27.99 at the moment on the store. $27.99. This is a must buy for me, guys. So I'm going to go through a few of the features here, and I'm going to show you why you should spend your hard on buck on this buy. So stay tuned. So, what's new in Mortal Kombat X? This is my favorite new feature, it's called the Living Towers. So this is a new feature, so you have hourly new challenges that you can try. You have your daily challenges, and which is my favorite, is the Premier Challenge. So the Premier Challenges, every kind of season, they'll introduce a new tower. And within that tower, like for, say, Thanksgiving, they'll have like turkeys raining from the sky, knocking your ass out. They'll have turkeys running across the screen, and it's great fun. I really love playing through it. For Paddy's Day, they had a bunch of leprechauns, and for April Fool's just gone, they had these mad kind of modifiers on the screen. The screen would tilt, and you'd get like different bonus objectives to throw in. It was really fun. Now, Mortal Kombat has a bunch of characters in their combat pack for download and purchase. They're $24.99 from the store. At $24.99, it's a bit steep for nine new characters. So, what I think is about this every now and again. They'll throw in a mission where you get to play one of the characters and they'll showcase them. This month you get to play as Triborg. So let's get this go. So this is the Triborg Tower. You get to showcase some of his skills. Hi there. Scorpion rebuilt his pathetic clan. Oh, it's on now. And what I really like about some of the intros is they all have a unique and different intro to interact with each character, which I think is really cool. So I'm gonna hope I don't get my ass absolutely handed to me here. I'm gonna showcase some of the new Troy Bar moves. Here we go. That was a good set. Yeah, setting on fire is always a good way to go. As you can see the combat is really fast, it's hard hitting and there's all these cool little kind of bits in the background where you can jump off different obstacles and I just love all this because it's really interactive and it's fun to play. He didn't stand that chance. I got a few lucky blows in, but so you can see these little bits in the back. <laughs> nice. So, what I love about some of these moves, you do grabs. Hey, let me grab you, bitch. Nice. So, they've introduced a nice few little characters in this game that are really fun to play with. Some of them not so fun. And I've seen your first brutality. <laughs> no, thank God that came off of the camera. So instead of fatalities, you have these new brutalities where you can, if you put a, pull a really cool combo together, you can showcase like some really cool fatality. But as you can see, Tribrock took his set off and um, completely exploded my character's head. The hell's going on here? You will suffer, Jackson Briggs. <laughs> what no, what's also cool about this Mortal Kombat is that there's lots of new skins, there's, there's they're constantly updating the store with new 
characters. They've had a lot of horror characters. You see the alien. They've had Jason Voorhees. They've had Leatherface. So yeah, there's always something to go back to, and it's really interactive as well. So the online, there's these faction wars that you can play as. So you get to choose your clan, and each kind of win, and each kind of special thing you do each day will add to your faction points. So this game keeps you coming back to more of that, and I really like that. Another win, never in doubt. Round two, fight. Well, I have to admit, of all the beat 'em ups on the PlayStation 4, I came back to this one the most. I really enjoyed Injustice. I got Street Fighter 4. It wasn't a very impressive Street Fighter on the PlayStation so far. So, from my bank to my book, this is the one. How these guys come up with these things, I don't know. They're absolutely fantastic to watch. So as we can see, the extras have made an appearance this this time again. It's always a good thing. Jackson is not going down without a fight, I can tell you that much. Not good, not good. Now what I like about this as well, so finish moves could always be a pain in the ass. And what's great about this? They can show you the finishing moves. So I'm gonna show you a quick one here. And so if I don't mess this one up, guys. There you go. So as you can see, Mortal Kombat is as vicious and brutal as ever. When Mortal Kombat X was announced, they said it was going to be a PG game, so as you can see, they didn't quite follow through with that. So that's just a little showcase of what the tower has to offer. So with Triborg, you get to play as all his different incarnations. It's great fun, guys. That's been my favourite part of the new Mortal Kombat game. And I'm going to show you some other things here now. So I'm going to show you a bit of the campaign for Mortal Kombat X. And as beat up campaigns go, this is definitely one of the better ones. A lot of the old Mortal Kombat campaigns, it could be a bit cheesy, the voice acting could be poor and really poor scripted. They put a lot of effort into this campaign. Comes in around 6 to 8 hours, depending on how bad you are like me. I won't go too much into the story, let you figure that out for yourself. As you can imagine, the are good guys are fighting the netherrealm bad guys. It's pretty much the moral of the story. Shinnok is back. Being an asshole as usual, so let's enjoy this little cutscene. Will not touch the Jinsei. Oh, I will. And all of Earthrealm will learn the truth. Our death. <laughs> Big up Johnny Cage! I'm not sure what just happened to me, but I am sure of this. You don't even think of hurting her. So you can see the description is a lot better for this Mortal Kombat game. Uh, it will take you to lots of really cool different locations. You get to play as good guys and bad guys and it's really worth a look. Oh, Shinnok is kind of kicking my ass here. Eh? I was really going to come back in that one. So that's a pretty much a taste of the, uh, what's on offer with the really cool campaign. Really worth checking out. Keeps you ticking over, you get to learn all the moves. There's a lot of cool quick time events that they like to throw in as well. So I, I really enjoyed the campaign. It's definitely one of the better campaigns. And Warner Brothers have really showcased a lot of their storytelling abilities with the Injustice. And uh, with Mortal Kombat 2, so definitely check out the campaign, it's well worth a look. So you've seen the campaign, you've seen some of the towers, so what else has Mortal Kombat got to offer you? So in the 2 player you got some really cool player versus player, you got your texture look, you can customise your combat and the texture might. 
So the customized combat, what you can do with this, is you can add in a lot of really cool different modifiers. These modifiers will have to be unlocked through the crypt. So what I'm going to show you quickly is what is the crypt. So if anyone has played earlier Mortal Kombat titles, you'd, you'd know exactly what the crypt is. Throughout the game, throughout how many wins and online wins, you get coins for unlocking, for doing really cool brutalities or stringing some combos together and getting wins together. And with these coins, you get to enter in what's called the crypt. So they've really revamped the crypt this time around and uh, I really liked what they've done with it. So with these coins, I've earned 7,000. You can purchase different little icons and you'll get cool new costumes and you'll get different modifiers you'll lock in here you'll unlock different stages and there is quite a lot to do in the crypt it's a very big crypt this time around and there's lots of different sections and within each different section you have to unlock secret areas and get different items so as you can see like the, the crypt is a small little mini type game in itself and every now and again something will jump at you and scare the absolute shit out of you which it does for me so I'm going to see if I can run around the crypt a little bit and um, show you what I mean. It'll spawn a quick time event if you're successful. There's another spider and a jerk. Um, we'll get some coin. So I'm going to run around a little bit here. So already you can see there's a magical item. We'll examine it. It said that Raiden's staff grants the wheeler the power to teleport. So with Raiden's staff you'll be able to unlock a new part of the crypt. So as you can see, there's a lot of different in your inventory, lots of different areas to unlock. And uh, yeah, it's really worth checking out, it's a really cool thing. And every now and again, you'll find these secrets. Oh, and I was too late, great. So there you go, you snooze, you lose. In the crypt, there's different and um, secret treasure or chests that would appear for only a limited time. They're usually cheaper than some of the other more expensive items that you can lock in the crypt, so be sure to get those quick. And there you go, you can get scor Scorpion's Fatality, who's next? So by unlocking that, you can go into the menu and it'll show you how to do Scorpion's Fatality. So it's a really cool idea and um, it makes you come back for more. So as luck would have it, there's one of our secret middle treasure chests. So we'll unlock and see what we can get. So here we go. So it's a new costume select for one of the new characters, Fira and Thor. They're a really cool new character. They're a dual combo. They're a bit on the bulky side, but they're really fun to play as. So that's pretty much it for the crypt, guys. Um, there's a lot to unlock. You can actually unlock the crypt for like 20 bucks in the store, which, I don't know, kind of takes a bit of fun out of the game, because the cool thing about Mortal Kombat is, the more coins you earn, the more you get to go in and enjoy the crypt, and I think that really pushes you to come back. It makes you push you to become a better player than locked all these secret areas. So that's really fun to check out. And it's quite easy then to get out of the crypt. You can just press the triangle button and you're back out. So what else has Mortal Kombat got to offer? So you're seeing the crypt, you're seeing the two player options, and we also got a few extras. You can do your match replays. You can have a look at your collection. You get car so you can have your character viewer, concept art, fan art. You can view your finishers, some of the music in the endings. Um, get through to your PlayStation store. So that's it for Mortal Kombat X guys. You can see there's a little, for a beat em up there's a lot of different options to choose from. I couldn't recommend it enough. For $27.99 it's a steal and it's a must. Uh, I've enjoyed showing you this game and you know each time you come back in there's something new in the towers. There's always something new to do. There's always someone there. The servers are really quick. You always get a fight pretty quick. And this has been Really good experience guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you come back for more Cheap Ass Tuesdays where I can find you more good deals. I've been Paddy, I'm part of the Watch Gamers. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I hope to see you soon. Thanks guys. What you can do is run directly out and continue on. But the problem is, you're giving an awful lot of the rules of engagement to your enemy. They're going to see you first. They're going to have an exact idea where you're coming from, because there is only one doorway.